and the Pakistani spectators and supporters here jubilant. Well, Sean Pollock's gone across the line to the short ball. Pensy got a bottom edge. And it's knocked the middle stump right out the ground. And a real big wicket for Abdul Razak. Good wicket for Pakistan. Sean Pollock goes for naught. South Africa now 194 for seven. So Nicky Boye comes out to the centre. 40 matches. A very, very improved cricketer, this man. Come back for the second. Oh, we have to this is close. The throw is good. Good take by the keeper too. And I just get the feeling that Nicky Boye could be out here. Yes, I think so, Ravi. I think Nicky Boye is out. He didn't dive. He turned quickly. But maybe a dive would have helped. It was a good throw and a really good take by the keeper. That is good keeping. He's shot off his ground. Excellent take by the wicket keeper there, Atiku Zaman. The bail's off. And I think now Pakistan are in the driver's seat. The red light flashed there. South Africa have lost their eighth wicket. Nicky Boye departs. South Africa, 195 for eight. As Roger Telemachus comes out to the middle. Shift up in the air, simple catch for the keeper. The Pakistanis are for the hoop here. They sense victory. Ninth wicket has gone down for the South Africans. Roger Telemarcus, after facing one delivery, just heaves away. One can't help feeling that a one to get McKenzie on a strike was the way. Waka Yuna strikes. Easy catch for the keeper. Telemachus out for one. South Africa 196 for nine. Makaya Antini is the last man out there for the South Africans. He won't be on strike. It's all over. Pakistan are into the final of the Godred Singapore Challenge 2000. Convincing win here over the South Africa.